we're doing a mix of things today. I'm doing half show you something and half sit down video. How is everybody? Hopefully good. Um, so I waited a long time to find the perfect candle sconces for my living room here. And I finally got them. I mentioned them in a couple of videos ago. They're from 33 Cubed. I'll just go get them. Friend of the channel. She's wonderful. And she has an Etsy shop that I was able to find these on. So I'm going to put them up on either side of my window there. I think we're all pretty familiar with my living room. Work in progress. Like, I still can't find the right pillows. I do have a throw that I can put on just for a little something. But I need a pillow or two. Anyways, these are going to go like this. I need to remember to take a before and after photo, so hang on. For those of you who may think, similar to my husband, that I should be putting these on my mantle, I'm gonna show you and tell you the two reasons why, sorry I'm backlit right now, but the two reasons why no. First of all, this, let's, let's move this. Let's give you the full picture. It's giving medieval, um, which I'm not into. Nothing wrong with medieval style. I just personally don't want to go for that. That's not what I'm going for. And also this wall is slanted. So there's like a slight pitch backwards and all of the lovely little wax drips are gonna go everywhere. So I'm not doing that. Um, so that's fine. So now you don't have to say you should have done that. Not that you would, but maybe. Maybe you would think it. That's why. And then they just, they're gonna look so good here. So I'm just gonna shut up and do it. I have to go get my hammer. This is a difficult thing to do by yourself. <laughs> but guess what? If I have to move it, it's not the end of the world. I'm thinking like that, right? I'm gonna do it. Okay, that's cute as hell. I'm gonna get a measuring tape so I can do the other side. Yes. Now, I just wonder if we need something there. This might be too big. I'm going to have to watch the footage. Sometimes I'll make videos on my phone. Now it's too big. But now I know. My mantle really needs help, but that's not what this video is. <laughs> the difficult thing about my mantle, and then I'll and then I'll get back to the rest of this video, <laughs> is that this mantle is that deep. Like it's 
a very thin mantle. So I can't really fit much, but I should probably just get more regular tapers. Because obviously that's nice, but I like them on the coffee table too. It's just not enough time. Not enough time in the day. I just got a package. Please tell me if you would be interested in a video of all of the Instagram ads I've fallen for and loved because I'm an addict. Um, I really am. I'm, I'm obsessed with, I'm not obsessed, but I've just been, I've been striking gold with some of these Instagram ads. Anyways, it's a skincare thing, so I have to test it out first before I can speak on it, but I think I'm, I think I'm gonna do it. Okay, so let's talk about my current interior obsession. It's sconces. Um, sconces of any kind, they can be candle, they can be plug-in, they can be electrically hardwired into your wall. But I'm gonna switch to talking into my phone for your listening pleasure. Yeah, I, I'm very into sconces and I'm gonna tell you all the reasons why with imagery, as we all prefer. So starting with this image, I just feel when you have a large piece of artwork, it's nice for it to be framed in the sense that, you know, there's things flanking it, adds a nice little detail that, sure, this space would look nice without those sconces, but sconces are kind of like, you know, the earrings of your home. I just think it's a little bit of jewelry. It's the cherry on top. And it makes the space look more thought out, more intentional than just, this is a blank wall. So we put up a large piece of artwork. Putting something on the side. Now, it can be kind of like what's behind me where it's a large piece and a smaller piece. But I want to stick to the topic today because I thought about getting into art and it's just a rabbit hole. So really, I just think a great option for flanking the sides of a large piece of artwork is putting sconces on either side. Even something like this. This is kind of an interesting way that I don't think I would naturally think to put sconces where this whole space is kind of asymmetrical. It's really well done. Again, I don't think that I could have or would have come up with this configuration on the wall, but without those sconces, it looks a little bit bare. It helps fill in the space without it just being a cluster of objects, which kind of brings me to my next point is talking about gallery walls. I'm personally kind of over the gallery wall, but I think that this is a great way to bring back the gallery wall. This is like a new way of breathing life, I think, into the gallery wall. It adds warmth, it breaks up all of the art and I think a lot of times gallery walls entail you know family photographs or you know anything that's sort of like more sentimental not just like all art so it's nice to kind of break all of that up by putting some sconces in there it adds some dimension from all of these like kind of 2d images to now we have something a little bit more three-dimensional. And again, I just think that it it makes the space look more intentional rather than like, I don't know, something about a gallery wall is like kind of cringe Pinterest. And don't get me wrong, like I'm a, I love Pinterest. I'm on Pinterest every day. It's where I got all these images for this video. But um, there's like some things where it's like, I, don't, I really don't know how to describe what I'm trying to say, but maybe it's just because it's like such a trend that it's in, you know, everybody's home and I just get sick of seeing those things. So this is just like a, again, a new way to 
bring back the gallery wall um, and just make it a little bit more interesting. Now, I'm a big fan of sconces in pairs, but I do think there's something to be said about something like this where there's just one sconce that clearly serves a purpose for, you know, cozying up, late night reading, whatever it is. Gosh, I've used this image so many times. I love this. There's so many things I want to talk about with this image, but uh, it's, so, it's so hard. Okay, I'm going to let myself indulge a little bit. I think the gray thing. This is a great way to make your gray home if that's what you accidentally did and you you invested a lot of money when gray was the trend just paint your walls like a chocolatey brown and bring some warmth back in with some like nice warm tone pillows so that you don't have to replace your gray sofa this is just okay gosh i should make a whole video about that i'm gonna do that next that'll be my next video okay but I like that this just warms up the space, gives you something a little interesting to fill that, you know, blank part of the wall. And again, gives you some, some little home jewelry. This I like too, which I considered flanking my fireplace as well. But I just think if you have a fireplace... I love the idea of, of something going on either side, especially if you have windows. Like this is kind of exactly my setup of my, how I have like a fireplace and then a window on each side. This just fills the space without it being like, oh, we have to have a piece of art in every little nook and cranny of the home. Like no, you can just put an object there that actually serves a purpose and just gives you a little sprinkle of, fairy dust magic. <laughs> this obviously serves a function um, and I love this idea on either side of the bed in general instead of doing table lamps you know having your table clear and bringing I've talked about this before but bringing sconces up onto the wall. This is so nice because it is such minimal space so it serves a purpose. It adds a little bit of something interesting. I don't know how else to say this. I keep saying it just makes it interesting and lets you have that wall-to-wall -wall headboard which I really love and I want to do this in my guest room or something like this. Oh it's just so cozy. Sconces are cozy. Okay, and we're getting into cozy season, so we need to have cozy sconces. And then again, with this image, I like that it's a big piece of artwork above a sideboard, and they just gave it a little kiss of jewelry on each side. It just, you know, there's lamps there too. Don't think that just because you have lamps that you can't have sconces too. You can have both. I love that. You should have both. So yeah, this just adds a little bit of something extra special and well thought out and designed and curated and all of those things. Needless to say, I love sconces. I love all the sconces. So put some sconces up in your home. And then hopefully later I'm going to have something to show you that looks like this. I'm waiting for the mail. I'm waiting for that mailman. Though he did already come today. Maybe it's maybe it'll come from a different mailman. You know, there's like multiple these days. Okay. Bye-bye. Okay. We have our prints. So we're so excited. I'm just gonna show them to you. We have three options that are gonna be available. Um there are two different framed options as well as you can get just a print on its own. It is printed on archival matte fine art paper so it will last forever and um, as long as it's well taken care of I suppose. And then we have two frame options. Elliot and I each chose a frame. Um, he wanted a solid wood frame so this is the solid wood it is a solid oak frame um, it does have a plexiglass okay so this is not a real glass on here but to keep the price point the same and to keep the cost kind of down in general um, that just seemed like the right choice and then I chose this chrome frame that does have 
a glass cover um, but again like we just wanted to keep them the same price point so it's like you can have aluminum um, with glass or you can have solid wood with flexi you know um, or you can just buy the print on its own and frame it yourself but we're really excited um, this is gonna be a limited run we're gonna see how things go and then we'll order some more but we just kind of wanted to test the waters and see how how you guys would you know like them I have to get to work but thank you guys so much for watching this video I hope you enjoyed don't forget to like comment and subscribe and the Etsy link will be down below that you can buy Elliot's prints. Um, we decided to go with Etsy so that we could honestly have international shipping because a lot of people requested that. So enough, I shouldn't say, enough people requested it that I felt it was important. That's that. Thanks again for watching and I'll see you guys in the next one. Love you, bye.